Welcome to Pro Tradecraft's Weatherization Nation, a show about building smart from the start. In this first season, we'll follow Mark IV builders as they construct a substantial addition to the 75-year-old Neo-Federal House in Washington, D.C. Washington is in Climate Zone 4, which is categorized as mixed, humid, and cold. So this climate can go either way, and it's prone to water problems. The superintendent for the project is Ray Williams, a specialist in air sealing strategies for older homes. Today we're in the greater Washington, D.C. area, starting a project on a brick exterior house with slate shingles up top. Uh, we took down a one-story addition. We're going to be putting up a two-story addition that'll consist of a kitchen and some living space, master bedroom and ensuite upstairs. Uh, we're going to go back with party plank siding and we should be adding uh, just under a thousand square feet. The old addition was kind of a one-story addition with a two-story light scoop. It brought in tons of light and opened up the living space, but there were some water problems due to maybe more enthusiasm than science-based construction know-how. One of the most basic scientific principles has to do with gravity. Water flows downhill, so sloping the ground into the house causes water problems at the very start. Other problems began at the roof. There was a spot where we had little wings off the chimney, you know, create a little wing wall area, went back into this wall over here. And instead of putting step flashing like you see up by the chimney, they just rolled the shingles up oh, good. and tried to create like a yeah. two inch um, dam with the shingles rolled up. You know, so that was doomed to fail. But there was, a, there was several things. I mean, when you look at these two outside corners, nothing but water damage and rot. I mean, the, the OSB plywood was, you could just take it with your hand and just yeah. peel off like cardboard. This shouldn't come as a surprise because water is a professional. If you look at its LinkedIn page, you can see that its job description literally is to turn houses to mush. One thing we like about this project is that it allows us to explore tying new construction to old, which is where a lot of the problems can creep in. In this first episode, we'll give an overview of the whole project. The next one will look at demo, digging, and drainage solutions for foundations. Episode 3 will focus on a warm and dry crawl space using Thermax foam board insulation, thick plastic, and smart details. Episodes 4 and 5 will cover best practices in Tyvek installation, how to properly flash a window into a WRB, and then how to install an air and watertight window. In episode 6, we'll jump up on the roof to look at some flashing details and install some Protex synthetic roof underlayment. Back on the ground for episode 7, we'll install drain vent rain screen, which allows the siding to dry on the backside and keeps water from sneaking in from the outside. In the final episode, we'll cover how to use a blower door to find air leaks before covering everything up with drywall. 